guys, what's up? Good morning. Sprout Shop 73. We're gonna go over the uh, watch list for Monday. C B A Y X X I I L T V R I S R and I N U V. They are all profiled in the uh, blog. We have full trading ideas. Um, what I do is I, I create a, an idea and just post it with a stop, resistance areas, and whatever I think the stock might do is just uh, spec speculative. Just don't trade based on these. It's just my idea. Um, I'm, I'm not a financial advisor, so if, if one of those fits your criteria and you want to trade it, that's up to you. Okay? So, let me just go over them. What I'm thinking on these trades. Uh, let's go to CBAY. Really, really coiled. I just love this here. You, you're able to place a tight, uh, tight stop here. Um, ideally, uh, most reason low on this candle. 294 maybe you place a stop at uh, 295 <coughs> and you know you're gonna have resistance 377 and around three um I'm, I'm sorry 489 is this high here so if you get a pop you should scale out around 377 or higher and then above four if it goes, had a nice pop here, and it's, it looks like it wants to go. A little bit of an increase in volume on Friday. So watch uh, CBAY. Uh, I think it looks good. The other one is uh, XXII. Also, a lot of these small stocks popped on Friday uh, near the close. I think it was because of a. Uh, options expiration so good to have it in your watch list uh, this one's uh, putting up a nice wedge here uh, you see it's trying to break out um you'll see that it's gonna be resistance at 125 to 130 and then topping out at 155 it really goes if it gets some news, even above 155, who knows? Um, let me see if I can look farther away. Yeah, I mean, if it ever gets news, then uh, breaks 155, you'll see that there'll be resistance at 176, 177, and then over to right over to here. And I think they have uh, some catalyst going on. They, uh, um, I think they did a, a study and published it on a magazine, and they haven't they haven't PR'd it yet. Something like that. I'm not sure. They also had a, a bidder after hours on on Friday, and it got a couple of hits there at 113. So you need to watch this for uh, for next week. Um, it's looking so far. It's looking good. Um, good stop here. Obviously, 98 cents, 12 cent risk. Uh, I think it's all right there. And you know, uh, if you can get it, you can get to sell it about 125 to 155. It's it's a good trade there. About three, four to one trade. Um. LTBR pop two on Friday, crazy one. Pop fade, pop fade. Again, not a long term hold this is, but you get that curling up again, like it did here. Look, pretty similar pattern. You can get a pop and sell it over 150 for more than a 20 cent gain, and your stop. At 120, risking just uh, what 10 cents. You risk 10 cents, and you're looking for at least 150, maybe. 
You, oh, you get 2 to 1 there, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, so it seems like a pretty good risk reward uh, trade there. As long as you stay, uh, you stay tight and, and keep that stop at the 120. So, so far it's looking alright for just for a trade. These guys, you know, all these companies need money, they'll keep, they'll keep raising money, putting shares out there. Um, ISR, same thing, just a trade, um, same pattern, pop, and nice volume there on, on Friday. Stop, again 145, around 145, and uh, all this area here, this range here, is going to be congested. A lot of guys are trapped there. A lot of people trapped in that range from uh, from 180 to 210, 212. This this whole area here. So obviously, if you get it at 160, you should be able to to scale some here. And then if it gets news, it has a big catalyst. Well, you can see what it can do. But you should always uh, cash in, you know, uh, on any pop. And if you're getting three to three to one, four to one, you just cash in. Because a lot of these, you know, they, they, they pop and fade all the time. Um, then again, 145 stop, and and as long as you keep tight leash, uh, a tight stop there, tight leash, you should be good. Um, INUV. I'm not as excited with this one, because um, it's come a long way here to, to resistance this is a nice cop here but what I would like to see is, is some uh, some flagging for a few days here at the 350 over under maybe you know consolidate a bit back to 330 three, maybe 325 um, and uh, you know just after Oh, this this change here. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Um, so you um, you place your stop there around 320 previous breakout zone. Risk about 25 cents. Let it let it flag a little bit. Maybe you can even maybe uh, get it a little bit cheaper in the. 340s, 335s. Let it flag for a while and then hopefully it will break out and hit four. Good stop around 320. That should be it. And you can see it in the in a shorter time frame um, right here. This is the five minute three day. You can see how it held uh, 320s pretty nicely. We'll change the color of this line. I usually use black. There you go. You can see it bounced off uh, 321, and then it held 320 nicely. So a good trade would be try and get it from 335, anywhere from 335 to 345, and then place a stop at 320. Seems to be a good line in the sand. And if it flags and goes to four, magnifico. That's that's a good trade. All right, guys, that's it. Um, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, and uh, thank you very much. This is Prop Shop signing out. Take care, guys.